Hello gamers, this is Flaming Gaming 7 and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Crunchyroll 2023 Anime Awards. I actually already looked at these. Like, that's like pretty much the first thing I did when I woke up. Specifically because I wanted to know who won one of the categories. And so I figured I'd just look at all the rest. And I actually do kind of want to make a reaction video on it. So I'm just going to make one even though I've already seen the results. So, I hope you're fine with that. Also, fair warning here. You're not gonna like it, but I think Mappa's Attack on Titan is one of the worst things ever created, if not the worst. I don't think I've ever watched anything worse than it, and I'm gonna trash on it a lot in this video. You have been warned. Cyberpunk, I like, but I think every time it was nominated, there was definitively a better option. So, if I seem like I'm trashing on Cyberpunk, I like it. It's just not the best. Basically, I think the first five episodes are really good, and then the second five episodes really fell off with Cyberpunk. Anyway, let's just get right into it. I want this to be a quick, casual video. Cyberpunk Edge Runners, run one anime of the year. Honestly, it beat it beat AOT. So I'll take it. You know, as long as it's not AOT. I mean, you know, if it was Spy Family, Licorice Recoil, Demon Slayer, just four incredible shows that I love with all my heart. I would have preferred that, but. Again, Cyberpunk is good. I'm not going to complain that much. It was only September? What? Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, best original anime is Licorice Recoil. This is the only one that I knew for a fact would go well because I've literally never heard of these five. I've never heard of these in my life. <laughs> and yeah, I, I've watched Licorice and I love it so much. And so it totally, it totally deserved this. This is a freebie. Anyone who likes Licorice just got this, they just got this win for free. Best character design? I was honestly disappointed when I saw Demon Slayer. And I love Demon Slayer. But I I feel like if you're putting it up against Dress Up Darling and Jojo, how would Demon Slayer win against those? Because, like, fun fact, I actually thought character design until recently meant, like, the design of their personality and their, like, the stuff they do and like, who they are, not literally their design, but then my sister told me, hey, you're an idiot. It's actually their literal character design. <laughs> she didn't include the idiot part, but she may as well have. Not really. <laughs> God, I'm being so mean. I'm sorry. I love you, sis. Anyway, um, but yeah, so <laughs> the first few times I voted for best character design, I don't remember what I voted for. I think maybe Spy Family. Be but then I realized, but then she told me that it's actually something different, character design. And so I just swapped between just Dress Up Darling and JoJo, because I would have been happy with either. I think people just voted for Demon Slayer because they like it. Definitely, the designs are really cool. Don't get me wrong, but I just think Dress Up Darling and JoJo should have had that. This animation, this one, I'm actually pretty happy about. I feel like this was the only real option. Plus, it beat out AOT, which I can't complain about. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to do it a little too much. I think I actually threw in one or two votes for Spy Family, something about it I just really like, but... No, did I? I don't remember, but I did mostly vote for Demon Slayer, and I think it for sure deserved it. It's utterly incredible. Uh, Spy Family, I, I definitely, I'm not complaining. I love Spy Family. <laughs> Hold on, it's just, I just think it's weird that Spy Family and Cyberpunk were both nominated for new anime series and anime of the year. Cyberpunk won anime of the year. Spy Family won new anime series. I think it's a little weird, but. You know, it's just something to do with the other four nominees, people voting for different amounts of those and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I think Spy Family, between Cyberpunk, Licorice, Dress Up Darling, and Spy Family, and two things I haven't watched. I think out of those, I think I just flip-flop between Spy Family, Licorice, and Dress Up Darling, actually. Yeah, no, I like them all around equally. <laughs> so I can't complain about Spy Family, heck yeah. Best Continuing Series, I did not think this would be One Piece. I don't know why, I just didn't. And, oh my gosh, literally all of these I love. I have watched, except for Made in Abyss, I have not. And I think, obviously I didn't vote for AOT. Demon Slayer, Jojo, and Love is War. And One Piece. Those are four of my- Those are literally all top 15 shows for me. I'm spitting on my laptop, don't mind me. Literally, top 15 shows here. What was I meant to do? I think- I think I voted for One Piece once, because I actually didn't want One Piece to win for some reason. Because, like, I don't know, I feel like One Piece could win every year if it was nominated every year. So, I just didn't vote for One Piece. I think I voted... JoJo, I haven't actually finished Stone Ocean. I just watched 13 episodes of. 
I think I'm mostly voted for Demon Slayer and Love is War. And maybe one or two votes for JoJo and definitely one vote for One Piece. Yeah, I think that's what I did. <laughs> the best opening scene. And look, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. So when I was first looking through the um the awards this morning, around this time, I was like, whoa, Attack on Titan hasn't won anything yet. I think it might stay that way. And then it's, I literally, the next one is Attack on Titan. With the rumbling, I think it's a good song. It's just not an Attack on Titan opening. I cannot listen to that song and say, yes, that's an Attack on Titan opening. No, I can't. I cannot say that. On its own, it is a good song, in my opinion. But, and plus, it went up against Mixed Nuts. Um, and whatever that is. This one, I think, easily should have won. I feel like this is, like, should be no competition. Uh, this one's also pretty, pretty bang, I'm not gonna lie. So is Mixed Nuts, but I feel like it just should have been this one. Rumbling, it's a good song, but not an Attack on Titan opening. Best ending, this I cannot complain about. Comedy is a banger ending. Um, I definitely would have, I think my heart surrendered. That's like the real, hold on, I need to make sure I know what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I checked, and my heart is surrendered is that special fancy ending. I just wanted to double check. I honestly think, I think it's really good. I personally think I voted for this one and would have, I love that I think I voted for it. You can tell how dedicated I am to this. I'm sorry, I just love all anime so much. I definitely think I would have rather this one won. But between Spy Family and the Dress Up Riley opening, I think I'd like them equally-ish. Like, about equally. And they're both really good, so I think this is deserved. Can't complain about that. This, I can complain about. What? What? Did you even watch the stupid show? Did you even watch it? No. No. Wait, it was better. Dude. Um, okay, honestly, between... Okay, so I will say, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not going to complain about this too much, because I actually didn't vote for anime score, because I don't think I'm qualified to do that. Because I don't listen to just random score songs that often, and I only kind of pay attention to them when watching a show, because that's just how I work. <laughs> so I did not actually vote for this one, so I'm going to lay off the complaints, but it should not have been Attack on Titan. <laughs> I don't even remember Spy Family, or Cyberpunk, or Demon Slayer, but all of them probably deserved it more. <laughs> Best anime film is surprising absolutely no one. Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Um, I, I free Dragon Ball Super Superhero and One Piece Film Red are two of my favorite movies ever. Um, originally I was swapping between like because you can vote once per day. I was voting Dragon Ball and then One Piece and then Dragon Ball and One Piece. But then at some point I realized, okay, Jujutsu is gonna take this no matter what. But between Superhero and Film Red. Film Red has a slightly better chance of beating Jujutsu, so I'm just going to go all in on Film Red. And so that's what I did. I just went, went all in on Film Red to beat Jujutsu. Nothing against Jujutsu. I have not even watched it. I'm sure it's a great move. But I rather something I've watched win. But I'm sure Jujutsu Zero was deserved, probably. Now this makes me want to die. I think we're just going to scroll right past that. You know, just my nonfiction, comedy, shall we dance, new genesis. <laughs> just lost all of those. The freaking rumbling. This one, I can't really complain about because I don't think I'm qualified to vote for Best Anime Director, so I did not. But it's actually, I watched all of these except Ranking of Kings, and Demon Slayer is probably my favorite out of all of these, so hooray, <laughs> I guess. Now, this makes me want to literally stab somebody. No, this, I'm going to tell you now, this might be a hard pill, pill to swallow for you people who gas AOT just because it's AOT. Eren is... Mappa's Aaron is one of the wor the worst character in anime. He's he just look at you cannot look at this face and tell me he doesn't look so s incredibly stupid. I can't even look at that. God, Mappa's animation is so ugly. God, Aaron, he just kills people. He just cares about himself. He did it for his friends. No, he doesn't care about them. He wouldn't have, and I'm going to spoil AOT the final season here, so skip ahead 10 or 15 seconds if you don't want that. He would not have killed 80% of the world world's population if he gave a crap about his friends. They could have easily, and did easily, as Hanji showed, died during it. Anyway, done with the spoilers. Not that it even matters, because everyone spoils it anyway. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing about AOT. Uh, Mappa's AOT. I Notice that I'm saying Mappa's AOT and not AOT the final season. The final season of AOT is season 3. I genuinely believe that. This is some weird freaking spinoff. Season 3 ended on a perfectly good cliffhanger. It's... Attack Titan Season 3 is still one of the best things ever created, and this is one of the worst. The contrast is astonishing to me.
absolutely astonishing. I think I think part of the reason people guess this so much is because they know it's bad. They know that the animation is garbage and that it's just a direct downgrade from season three and one and two. And so they don't want to seem like some lame person who's like, oh, it's something new and different, so I hate it. Uh, even though that's totally okay to think because it was just better. <laughs> And so because people don't want to look like that lame guy who just hates it because it's different, they will all gas AOT. But then everyone had that same thought process, so everyone gasses it. I don't know. That's my theory. Maybe people just gas it because it's AOT and they can't acknowledge when, it's, when it can, in fact, be bad. And to clarify, the actual Attack on Titan that Whit made is one of the best things ever created. Mappa just ruined it completely. And literally, how did you beat Chisato? Lloyd and Marin, David, I, I, um, I'm not a big fan of David. I'm gonna be real. I'm, I, I'm, I'm really not. Even in the first five episodes, which I'd say are pretty good, I don't like David that much. <laughs> but between Chisato, Lloyd, and Marin, how did this? Just you know, we've been on here for too long. Let, let's let's move on. Best supporting character. This one actually pisses me off a bit because she's not a supporting character. I wouldn't even be surprised if she has more screen time than Lloyd. Lloyd may technically be the main character, but Anya is almost as important as Lloyd, if not as important, along with Yor, for the record. And so they should be in main character, not supporting character. If they weren't here, then I think Hayasuka would have had a better chance of winning, which totally deserved. Tengen, I did obviously watch Demon Slayer, and I love him. But between him and Hayasuka, I gotta go with Hayasuka. But... I, I love Anya and Yor. I just don't think they should be on here, to be honest. And Rebecca's pretty cool on this. She's like the one cyberpunk character I don't hate. <laughs> That's an exaggeration. That is very much an exaggeration. No, wait. I just realized I'm confessing. I'm not confessing. Confusing Rebecca and Lucy. But I do still like Rebecca, actually. <laughs> Even if she's not Lucy. I like them both. I like them both quite a bit. And then this is totally deserved. I I, <laughs> I know a certain person who's probably watching this video is going to be a little pissed I'm not saying Marin. And I love Marin. But look at her. Look at Anya, she's baby. Look at her. How could you not vote for Anya? And Comey, I don't think I think I might have voted through in one or two votes for Marin just because I do love her a lot. And uh Comey. Uh, I might have thrown in one or two votes for her. I don't really remember. I do love her, but Anya, I totally think deserves this. Best action anime. This one was interesting, because this is the only one where I've watched every single one of the nominees. Demon Slayer winning, I can't complain about. Um, as, long, as long as it's not AOT or Cyberpunk, I'm happy. Jojo, Licorice, Spy Family, and Demon Slayer. Literally four absolutely amazing anime. Would not have complained about any of them winning. I think I just kind of flip-flopped between voting for the four. Because, I mean, obviously Jojo's literally my favorite anime, but I've only watched 13 episodes of Stone Ocean, and I've watched all of Demon Slayer, Licorice, and Spy Family. And between Licorice, Spy Family, and Demon Slayer, I do like Demon Slayer more, but Lake Race and Spy Family are still really good, so I just threw in votes for all four of these shows, and I would not have complained if any of them had won. Uh, best Comedy. I think this is actually pretty deserved. I think uh, this one and these two I have not watched. Nope, we're not scrolling down yet. I, uh, this one and these two I have not watched. Dress Up Darling and Love is War I think are incredible. And between Dress Up Darling, Spy Family, and Love is War, I like them all about the same. Probably Love is War a little more. Um... Definitely a little more, actually. But that's besides the point. I think Love is War, season three specifically, had a lot of romance aspects in it and less comedy. Still a lot of amazing comedy, but less in season three compared to the previous ones. And Dress Up Darling has a lot of, like, cool uh, sewing stuff in it. But Spy Family is, like, the main reason I like it is the comedy. Love is War and Dress Up Darling have things... Uh, strong things going for it besides comedy, if that makes any sense. So what I'm trying to say is that Spy Family deserved this, in my opinion. This, uh, this, this one's funny, because there's, there's three anime I have not watched. Four, actually. I've not watched 86. Cyberpunk and AOT. Obviously, I did not want AOT to win. That did not go well. And so, and I didn't really want Cyberpunk to win either, because I like it, but I just don't, I don't, it doesn't feel right it winning anything. And so I actually voted for 86, which I haven't watched, but I know I'm gonna love it when I do watch it, and... I, I highly doubt I will like 86 less than I do Cyberpunk. Like, I highly doubt that's going to happen. So I I just voted 86. <laughs> I know it's a little unfair because I haven't watched it, but I am 99.9% .9 sure I will like it more than Cyberpunk, and I know I'm going to like it more than Mappa's AOT, so <laughs> I think I'm fine voting for it.
Best fantasy. Oh yeah, this is literally <laughs> this one's funny. Uh, I literally only watched Demon Slayer. I have not watched these five. And uh, Overlord, I watched the first three seasons of. I haven't gotten around to four yet. Who knows when I will. <laughs> but very happy Demon Slayer won that because I have not watched the rest of these. <laughs> Best Romance, Love is War. Um, Dress of Darling and Komi are not romance anime. So Love is War completely, completely deserved this without a doubt. This makes me want to die a little bit. Because obvious reasons i'm not gonna go into it and frankly maybe i shouldn't be saying that because i don't watch sub anymore i just am an all-in on dub except for jojo so i actually did vote for jolene's voice actor just because she actually does a really good job of voicing jolene and it's the one show i still watch sub because i will not i won't i won't watch jojo dubbed i think that one is just the experience is enhanced in japanese <laughs> something about it just is funny to me but yeah pissed about this one literally would have rather any of these three win. I have not watched the- No, wait, I have watched Demon Slayer. What am I talking about? <laughs> but, yeah. And anyway, now this one, at this point, my heart was racing. I knew there was one more category. Best English voice acting performance. And I know Amelie was nominated for it, and I freaking love her so much. She is amazing as a person and a voice actor, and she deserved it more than anyone, and freaking David Martinez's voice actor stole it. I think these people didn't even watch it dubbed. I bet they did. I bet they did not. I, most of the people who voted for this aren't even like they don't. They don't even watch dub. I bet they just voted for David because they think it's cool that he kills a bunch of people and that he's fast because they're literal monkeys. Like I think this was a battle between um, Marins between because people are total monkeys between Marin how much fan service she had. And how much cursing and crappy stuff. <laughs> Very close to cursing myself there. <laughs> that David could bring to the table. That was pretty much it, and it pissed me off. It could have it could have at least been your or Gamma too, because those are both really good English voice actors as well. Shout outs to them. It could have at least been those two, but it should have been Amelie. She deserved it. I'm be real here. She and not only did she voice Marin, she voiced Hayasaka and Uda from Film Red. She literally voiced three, like Really po three really popular characters from anime that came out last year. Literally, she deserved it. In fact, if, if, if people knew that, because people don't pay attention to dumb voice actors, I mean, I don't pay the most attention myself, to be fair, um, but if people knew that the same person voiced Marin and Uda and Hayasaka, I think then she might have had a chance of winning it, but I think there's probably a lot of people who didn't know that, so they just voted for him. And I'm pretty sure the same guy voices Tanjiro. Which is just kind of interesting to me. But you would have think they'd put Tanjiro over David. I mean, I don't know. I think it makes sense they put David because it's a new anime. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty much all I have to say. Wait, weren't there like two more categories that were like just like not voted on, but they were decided by some kind of board or whatever? I feel like that was a thing. I don't really remember. Um whatever we're gonna end it end the video here that was my thoughts on the anime awards i hope you enjoyed um i think they're better than last year's from what i remember i mean we got licorice um demon slayer for animation and so, some of these are definitely like deserve and epic one piece i think is deserved i just personally didn't vote for it because it could win every year if it was nominated but it's still peak fiction <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed i hope you I, I hope people don't crap on me in the comments for crapping on their favorite anime that you know it sucks. <laughs> Sorry, I warned you at the beginning of the video there'd be a lot of hate for it. You came in prepared for that. This has been Flaming Game 7. Make sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, eat your green vegetables.